Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Post Productions, and oh my god, we got a good one here for today for you folks. Oh, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one because if you read the thumbnail, we're talking about Red One today. This film was directed by Jake Kazadan, I think. I hope I said his name right. Uh, and this film is about Santa Claus. He gets kidnapped. He gets kidnapped. And Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who is an elf, or he works for Santa Claus. <laughs> And he has to team up with Chris Evans to save Santa Claus and save Christmas. Where do we start with this movie, bro? Um, that budget? $250 million. <laughs> Where? Where? Where How? is it? Where is it? What was what was Dwayne's salary? <laughs> he must have took at least half of it. Because it's not evident in anything I, else. I heard somewhere that it was $50 million. Wow. Or something. Fun. I don't know. That might be completely wrong. Holy don't quote crap. me on that. I wouldn't even be shocked. <laughs> Wild. This is a fucking dumpster fire. Oh my god. Holy crap. Like, this is... This is the most special movie I think I've seen throughout the entire podcast we've been doing this. <laughs> this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. One of the best. This movie is so bad that it is good that it is on a whole other level. No, for like, real. Like, I laughed my ass off the whole time. Oh, it was, it was a delightful... Delightful oh viewing God. experience. Yes, we were we were pissing ourselves throughout the movie, <laughs> and it was like it was, it was made better by the fact that we were the only ones laughing. <laughs> we look around; everyone else is dead. It's like, guys, how are you not laughing? People at were this getting hilarity? like you said. People were getting mad at us. Yeah, we were getting some mean looks. It's like from a woman. She must she ladies. must have been like I'm trying to watch Red One. <laughs> Quite your damn asses! I'm like, we do not care. We do not care. Oh my God! How can you not laugh, bro? From the, like, it. oh my god. Like, it is absurd. There is so much absurd <laughs> shit going on in this movie. Should we, should we start with the absurd shit? Yeah, how about, like, shrinking Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> Bro, it does pulls an Ant-Man, like, a couple times throughout the movie, becomes tiny, and is, like, fighting people. It's, it's crazy. Like fighting snowman, and you hear his, like, grunting, like, ah, ah, as he <laughs> shrinks down. Every time he did it, it was just as comical as the last time. It was the funniest For some reason, thing. him, a tiny oh bald man, God. is like the funniest thing ever. Especially a funny Dwayne Johnson. Oh. The f I remember the first time it happens, they have this like big epic shot where he like evades a punch and then it like pans down to a really <laughs> small <laughs> Dwayne. A really it's small like Kevin Dwayne. Hart, bro. Oh my god, dude. Kevin Hart's probably laughing his ass off after imagine. watching you this. You did that stupid movie. I'm surprised <laughs> Kevin Hart didn't show up in this movie. This seems like something Yeah. Well, for every, it seemed like everyone was in this movie. Mm. Like, he had a really freaking good cast. Like, Lucy Liu, Chris Evans, Dwayne, even though, he, you know, Nick Kroll. Like, there was a lot of people in this. I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> what is going on? Like, what is this, dude? They they had The whole budget had to go just getting A-list celebrities, right? It must like, yeah. There's just no way. There's I mean, no it's way. one of the cheapest looking movies <laughs> well, of it, the year. I was going to say, it didn't go to the effects. No, it definitely didn't oh go to the Oh my god. There's it's, like, a, I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt. No I just want to recognize a great scene that had me fucking cry laughing the whole time. Is There's a scene where Santa Claus gets kidnapped and he's going through the North Pole. And like, Dwayne Johnson's like on roofs, like full <laughs> on sprinting down the roofs. And then he like hops on a ski doo like mid air. And he's like, he literally starts an avalanche avalanche just to stop the beat. oh my it's crazy it is crazy it is insane i was dying great great action set piece it's it's wild oh my god it's absolutely awful it was but entertaining as shit it was so funny and then they wow. put santa claus in the fucking gas chamber like what, what yeah, was that what? and they would cut to him so many times and he's yeah. just there like just he's like the he's like kind of tweaking like, out he's like Ooh, ooh, and like all this like uh, it, I, I guess it's like the Christmas spirit or something they say like it's magic or something but it's it's so funny dude it's, it's just, just draining like, just draining him. yeah cause it doesn't look good no it does not look good the one okay one positive one I positive mean, one positive for visuals really actually pretty decent for like for Krampus Yes, like, those were good prosthetics. I don't know where that honestly where those came out of. It's like wow, this is like from a different movie. This is yeah. Like, what are you guys doing here? Like this. So, is... Yeah, the prosthetics used when they go to like I I, can't, I don't know what you would call it, like the Krampus Kingdom or whatever the hell. Yeah. He did look good. It's like, like this is, okay. yeah, in a better movie, I would be like okay, like fucking. And then you hear his voice, and you're like, what the hell? 
Why does he sound like that? But oh, no. Nope. Yeah, we're watching a red one. Yeah, we're watching we're a red watching, one. Yeah. My bad. My bad. We're not watching actual good Krampus <laughs> movie. I will say though, I did appreciate how they kind of addressed some of like I guess you could say the more like obscure Christmas lore. You know. Yeah. You know. I was like, that's cool. I like that. It's just a fucking shame that it's in this movie because it <laughs> it's like what the hell. But you know. But no, it's funny. That's a good scene as well. I love the scene where <laughs> Dwayne gets slapped the shit out. <laughs> Oh, just just wild. His, his facial expressions are the best. He like puts his hand because like what what was the game they said? It was oh. Krampus slaps or something? Yeah, they Krampus had like a, it was like a like a some sort of European yeah. sounding word that they used for it. But something yeah. Yeah, something basically like a the slap. Yeah, they basically just Slapping. slap each other and see which one dies first. And there's a great great frame where Krampus has his hand around Dwayne's face. He goes, <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> And then he flies ten feet. Oh my god, dude. Dude, Dwayne does some crazy things in this movie. <laughs> his, his body does not... It has no, like, understanding of gravity or physics, man. No. Between him running up a mountain <laughs> and, like, mounting on a snowmobile in midair and him getting slapped into oblivion. and Literally. That's wild. It's, it's insane. Wild. And, yep. and the script, though. Did he think he was in some, like, HBO drama or something? <laughs> Why is everyone act so goddamn serious in this movie? It's crazy. I it, think the only person who was, like, somewhat... I was like, Nick Kroll, he's like, okay, I know oh, this is Oh, he knew the mission. Movie. Yeah, he knew so, this movie was dumb. Right? So he's like, I'll act accordingly. Everybody yeah. else, though, like, <laughs> Dwayne is giving these ridiculous lines. What, <laughs> what was your favorite? Well, I know there's I one love, segment you really enjoyed. Oh, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, there's a scene in a car when he's, like, with Chris Evans. Because Chris Evans in this movie, his char- whole character is like, oh, I hate Christmas. Or, fuck, no, I hate Christmas. He's just not a good guy. Yeah. He's just a terrible guy. He's the world's and he's, best tracker. He's the world's this track so stupid but whatever but anyways he's like, he's like in a scene and he and Dwayne Dr- Johnson is trying to tell him how important Santa Claus is and pretty much they the whole like the song uh, you better watch out you better not cry they turn that song into a motivational speech <laughs> of just a motivational speech and he like name drops like he sees you when you're sleeping and then he has a list you know how many times he reads that list twice he reads it twice <laughs> But he's so serious about it. It's so funny. And it doesn't do it justice, us talking about it, us no, laughing. It's it's fever dream. It is. Yeah, you have to see it. And some of the lingo, level four naughty lister. Are you telling me that this guy is a fourth letter level, level, level naughty lister? You think that's funny to you? Just absurd. And yeah, he's dropping all these like Christmas themed lines <laughs> with the most like serious acting ever literally it's it's bizarre bizarre combo i don't know what kind of directions um jake caston gave them yeah obviously none obviously obviously none. he said well i got my paycheck bye guys i bet he wasn't there on set like way Dwayne just did everything else i feel like dude. Dwayne probably directed this on the wall dude literally that's why everyone was getting mad because he's eight hours late every day pissing in bottles the whole time that is crazy as well yeah he admitted to that like bro just go to the toilet like, I don't care how long it takes. Just Turn go to the to bathroom. God. They it's... could drag out an Oto something to set, bro. Literally. Like, it's bro, like it can't be injury. this hard. Yeah, He's real. like, it saves time. I'm like, no one wants to see your fucking <laughs> piss bottles on set, dude. Like, oh my god. It's insane. It's insanity. I feel like Dwayne's piss smells fucking terrible, bro. It smells like Terramana. <laughs> <laughs> god damn Dude, Dwayne is uh, on some other shit, man. He is. Like, dude's I, got an ego. He's got an ego the size of the Grand Canyon. Holy Christ, Almighty! He's yes. like, like outside of like the the manic depressive episodes and stuff. He's like the Kanye of of Hollywood, bro. <laughs> some of the shit is just crazy. It's just, I just, I need to know how. I need to know why. Well, I mean, we saw the one bit the other day. He's like watching Oppenheimer. He's like. Yeah, <laughs> Put me in the seat where Christopher Nolan and his wife sat. He watched it. He's like, you know what? All I was thinking throughout the movie was, red one on this screen. Wow. So you know what? Maybe maybe we're missing out on this because we didn't see it in IMAX. Maybe we have to just go see it again. We might need That's to go a see damn it again. Shit. Maybe we should go see it again and make another review. For real, man. We need the full red one experience. We go see it again. <laughs> This is crazy. It's it's insane. I'm adding this to my freaking bad Christmas movie catalog. 
Oh gosh, for like, real! Oh my god, could you imagine if this came out in December? We'd be eating so We'd good. Be eating so We'd have good. the best bad movie like marathons to talk about. Oh, oh my god, man! <clears throat> like this, I'd put this like in the same same echelon as like Jingle All the Way. In yes, terms of how bad it is! Oh my god, and, and, like how hilarious it is, like, and how it equals itself out. Yeah, oh, it's just, it's glorious. It's glorious, man. It, it's it's kind of brilliant in like a in a in a way. Um, if if the whole point of making a movie was to make it as bad as possible, like this is a masterclass. Like yes, is... a masterclass in filmmaking. Two hundred fifty million. <laughs> Two hundred fifty million for Dwayne the Rock Johnson Ant Man moments and J K Simmons with his terrible. I don't know why they filmed this guy at an angle that was so terrible every time. <laughs> Did you notice that? Like he, he had so like dirty. dude, he had like several close ups where it was like the most ugly frame picture of J K Simmons, and that is a shame because man is handsome as hell. For real. And I'm just like, what is this shot? Why does it look so Why, bad? Right? They're spiting him. Literally. And there's also a really great scene where he's delivering presents. That shit killed me as well. That was so funny at the oh end. Oh my god. I'm like, that is not J.K. Simmons, bro. I, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely wild. Absolutely oh wild. god. And you know what's funny? is like, we've been, how long have we been talking for now? About 11 minutes For now. 11 minutes? We haven't even really touched on much of the plot or the villain. No. Dude. What a terrible villain. Oh my god, dude. What's what a, her name again? I have no idea. She's oh the Christmas my. witch, I think. Christmas witch. I think that's what they say in the movie. Yeah. And like, yeah. And her whole her whole shtick is that she wants to trap people in snow globes. Yeah. Because they're naughty? I think is so. Is that the reason? I think she, yeah, it's like some sort of like, I don't know, she's like, let's cleanse the world of evil. It's yeah. Like, so we're going to... Put all the people we're in gonna bubbles. put people in snow globes. Yeah. And why do you need Santa Claus to do this? I think he I think she needed his magic. Is it magic? She's a witch. Doesn't he have magic as it is? That's a good point. <laughs> Guys, I promise we watched the movie. We, we watched the movie. I, we just lose brain cells because we think of the funny th- scenes and then we forget everything else. Ex- exactly. It's just how it works, yeah. But no, what an awful plot. Wow. Like, just so much going on to a point where it's like, what the hell is happening? And then it just goes, like, super, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's an enigma. It, re- it really is. It's an enigma. And they, like, try to play in the audience's heartstrings with Chris <laughs> Evans and his kid. Dude, we do not care. We do not care Put at Dwayne all. Put back on. Put Small Literally. Dwayne back on. Yeah, and I'm sorry to say this. Chris Evans sucked as well. Oh, he's terrible. He was what? not good. Has he been in a good movie since Knives Out? Not since Knives Out. I was gonna say he was in Snowpiercer. That was pretty good. Okay, but yeah, I think that was after though, or before. So I don't think it was. Yeah, I don't. He hasn't been having a good run, from my knowledge. No, it's terrible. Yeah. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know. The Captain America money must have ran. <laughs> For real, <laughs> charisma. Nice. Even though I do one. like him, but you know, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, Chris Evans just not good at all. Lucy Liu sucked. She was barely in the movie though, to be honest as well. Probably like for the best. Yeah, probably for the best. Yeah. I'm just trying. I'm trying to think of shit that we could say because there's so much that say like the tip of my tongue. You know what I mean? Mm. It's oh my god. Oh, I just I just don't get it. Like, I it don't. just it's the biggest piece of dog shit. <laughs> it's, it's, but, it's, it's, a famous Dwayne once said, "It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever." <laughs> <laughs> but at it, the same time, like awesome, yeah. awesome time at the yeah. cinema. I feel like we're rambling at this point. Yeah, like. I, I think it just scrambled our brains. Yeah, go see it. Go see Red Holy One. Holy Christ, yes. Let us know what you think. Dwayne has a lot. $250 million. He has to make that back somehow, guys. Yeah. Please. We need Red One too. We need so, Red One like, too. Can you, can you go see it so we can... <laughs> please, <laughs> guys, please. Go see it. Red 2, they could call it, dude. Re- oh, there you go. Oh, my God. There you go. Can I write the script? I want to make it just as bad as it was Oh, my before. God. I please, man, please. <laughs> Sweet talk the studio into giving me two hundred fifty million. <laughs> yep, oh. absolutely I- insane. Uh, two. I'm trying to think. Is there any other movie this year that was around that? But like, I'm trying to get some um, comparison. Like, what's another two hundred fifty million dollar movie? Two hundred fifty dollar movie. I am trying to think of that. I don't. I swear, it's like the highest of this year. Dude, Wicked was one hundred forty five. <laughs> How? What did they spend? Money? What did they spend money on this movie? I'm trying to think. Hey, what's what's Dune's budget? Dune Dude, Dune's budget. budget? Uh, oh fuck! I don't know. We probably should have got this before. For real? But like, oh my god! It's just, it's surreal because no movie should take that much to make. 
190 million for Dune 2. And this was 50 million, 60 million more than Dune 2? <laughs> How? <laughs> Dude. They obviously put all the money towards Dwayne's ego and then the that, that one scene with Krampus. That's it. So, oh, okay, here's a, here's a fun fact for you. Oh, God. So you kind of touched on earlier him being late seven to eight hours. These delays reportedly increased the budget by $50 million <laughs> to $250 million. Wow. How? Like, bro, Dwayne, do you own an alarm clock? <laughs> Holy shit. For real. Just show up to set. Just show up to set, man. He's, Dude. His, he's going to kill his career if he, he doesn't. He, Bro, he is slowly killing it. Literally. Nah, it's crazy. We're seeing it in real time. Literally, the biggest downfall. Like, oh my god, like it's it's crazy. Cause he said he's always saying, like, I wanna be in these big movies. But then you go make something like this. And it's like, Whoa, like what do you want? Like what is going on here? Like fuck, let's not forget probably the whole reason Moana ex- like the live action Moana exists is just cause cause hey, I wanna play Maui again. But not as a cartoon. Those were babies. No, in real life. Those were babies. We need to make it in real life. <laughs> and then he just wears a muscle suit anyway. So it's just like... This fucking, fucking guy. Fucking we have very, like, um... I don't know. We love and hate Dwayne Johnson. Literally. I have the most love-hate relationship with him ever. For real. It makes no sense. Like, he is an enigma... And just puts his... I feel he pokes his head into shit he doesn't need to poke his head into. Like, Black Adam... And how he oh. was like so. Uh, I hate to bring this up again, but how literally with Shazam, I think with Shazam too, he was supposed to be the villain of Shazam too. But then they brought up said he went no, I want to have my own movie and I want to fight Superman. But they're like, but Dwayne, you're a bad guy. Black Adam's a bad guy. And he goes no, no, make him an anti-hero. And I'm like this is the dumbest shit I've ever God seen. God damn. Like he's he's such an ego dude. And then he tried to do basically a takeover of DC as Black Adam. Holy Christ Jeez. Almighty! Like what? And the how hell? did that turn out? Eh. <laughs> Reboot. Re- <laughs> Reboot. No, for oh real. my God, dude! It's cr- it's crazy. And it's, yet, it's wild. As much as we criticize him, every time we drink, we ha- have a Terramon toast. So it's literally, like, yeah. Like you gotta respect the dedication, but at that point, it's just like sad. He's so passionate about garbage. Literally, it's crazy. About garbage. He, yes. He puts himself fully into whatever. Well, actually, not really. He's, seven, yeah, he's no. eight hours late, but then he puts himself fully yeah. into. And whatever he also it plays is. the same role in every fucking movie ever. So, every you know. fucking movie. Yeah. That's the other thing about this. So generic. Literally, every, yeah. every plot point feels like a stolen from another movie. It's <laughs> like, wow, this is just, this is just, this is like AI. Yeah. AI movie. Yeah. And, and the tone is all over the place, too. Like, I, I know we already kind of said it. We're, we're kind of going over it at this point. I'm just trying to find, make sense of it, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's super serious, but then it's a Christmas movie, so you're supposed to have that whism- whimsical feel. But it really doesn't have that. No. It's really not there. And all the and even, like, uh, the North Pole, I thought, looked ugly as shit. It's all ugly as shit. It's ugly, it's man. It's crazy it's how so weird. hideous this movie is. God, we need a redemption arc for Dwayne, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm implying that it was his idea to make everything look terrible. <laughs> yeah, we just hold him responsible for literally every creative choice. <laughs> 50 million? 50 million? Dwayne, God damn it. Alarms exist for a reason. Please, man. Invest. Oh. Get yourself a watch. We need to. We need, hopefully he has a redemption art with when he makes the the, the smashing machine. Have you ever heard about that? Mm-hmm. Like the, is it a biopic? Yeah, it is. It is a biopic. Yeah, yeah. twenty four too. Mm-hmm. I'll be curious. Hopefully okay. he doesn't keep up his antics. Well, that's the one he said. Like I want to. He said he wants to kind of deviate from what he's known for mm-hmm. and make something actually like you know serious and like like an actual drama. So I have hope because he has the charisma to do it. Oh, totally. It's just that he doesn't care most times. Mm-hmm. But if this time he cares, I think we might be in for a banger. I really hope so. I, it's I one of the so. sad few brothers too. Like it's yeah, those two that could be a wicked combo. So Literally, yes. I really hope he he's cooking there. There's the the rock is cooking. The rock. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But but with that, can we just let's just what's the score for Red One? Oh, dude. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Ten. 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 It's a 10. <laughs> it's a 10. Guys, go see Red One in theaters now. It's actually a 3. He actually meant to say it's a 10. <laughs> it's 10. <laughs> Dwayne, if you're listening, it's a 10. I really hope Take you can just back. break that fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, thank you for tuning in. Yes, thank go you. Go see Red One. Go see Red One. 
it, we gotta get it to make <laughs> one red billion dollars, please. <laughs> I swear to God, we need money for this thing. It's so please, good, guys. Dwayne needs to buy his kids a nice. nice he needs Christmas to buy himself presents. five different Camaros each. Yes, dude. Yes, his garage is empty right now. Please, yeah. guys. We need to, we need to afford one. to give him more piss bottles that he can bring to set. <laughs> dude, <laughs> his, his last intern probably quit. He probably needs to hire a new one. He's probably get... traumatized. For real? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what a sin. Yeah. But with that, if you had fun, please like and subscribe. We're going to see you in the next episode. Thank you guys.